Hi guys, in this tutorial you will learn how to model cutlery in Blender 2.8. This is a beginner's tutorial and we'll specifically look at modeling spoons, forks and knives. So let's get straight into it and start off by modeling a spoon. So the first thing I want to do is want to go ahead and delete everything that I have in the scene. So I want to hit A on my keyboard to select everything, then X, delete. Then I want to go ahead and add in a sphere. So Shift A, Mesh, UV Sphere. There's too much vertex data if I look into it. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and expand this tool set over here and change the segments from 32 to 16 since we don't need to have too much vertex data. Okay, so we have something that looks like that. Then hit number one on your numpad to go into front view, tab into edit mode, and also we'll just uh, click this button over here, show the whole scene transparent. This means that we can see through the model. Uh, so I'm now going to double hit, tap A or you can hit Alt A as well to deselect everything. Uh, and then I'm just going to hit B to bring up the box select tool and then left click and drag to somewhere around about here. So around that much of the UV sphere. Then hit X, delete vertices. Now let's turn this back on again. So now we have the base of the spoon that we can model from. By the way, this technique that I'm using is based on the the technique shown by Mystic9D. His YouTube channel uh, shows you how to model a spoon as well. So I'm going to use uh, his technique to model the spoon. Okay, so now it's all just a matter of shaping out this part to look more like a spoon. So I'm going to just turn on proportional editing and make this connected. And then uh, just drag it out on the x-axis till you get a sort of um, tear duct kind of a shape. Something that looks like that. And I think that's looking good enough. Over here, maybe I might uh, increase on the X. Maybe go S, Y, make it a little fatter. Uh, maybe not, maybe it's thinner. Yeah, maybe make it a bit more thinner. Uh, and S, X. Anyways, to try and get this, the sort of the shape of the spoon that you want to, that you want to get. Also from the front view, I'm just going to select everything by hitting A. And now I'm just going to rotate it just a little bit, so just to give it a bit of a slant. Since spoons tend to have a little bit of a slant when you lay it flat on the ground. So I just want to put it something like that. Uh, oh, maybe I want, I'll put this above this orange dot, which is the center point of the uh, object. So maybe I might put it somewhere there. So that it rotates more better. Okay. Um, so we have something that looks like that. So now let's go back into edit mode again and let's select these uh, two, these three vertices over here. And then from the front view, I'm just going to go ahead and hit control on my keyboard and then left click. And then what we want to do is we want to just click this a few times so that we get uh, this kind of a shape. Well, I don't like that I one as much. I think that is a bit too much of a rush. Let's go over here, over here, over here. Maybe over here. Try to get this sort of a, a curve shape. Control left click here. Control left click there. Control left click there. Control left click there. Maybe one more over here. So that we get something that looks like that. We also want to thin this part a bit more. So I'm just going to hit C on my keyboard to select the circle select tool and then just left click and drag all this over here. And then go S, X, also S, Y to scale it on the Y axis and make the handle a little bit thinner. Something like that. Okay, and over here I'll select these three vertices and go S, Y and make this handle a lot more wider. Same with this part over here, S, Y. Same with this part over here, S, Y. And maybe this one as well. Just a little bit. And let's round out this part over here. Grab X, S, Y, so that we get something that looks like that. Maybe I might just tweak this one a bit more. S, Y, yeah, something like that. Okay, so once you're done with that, what we want to do is uh, we want to go ahead and select these middle ones over here. Maybe up to around about there, maybe even this one. And let's go. G, Z, and move it up on the Z axis. So that you get this kind of a curvature. 
all right so that's looking good next what we want to do is we want to add a little bit of a thickness to our spoon so we can use a modifier for that just go to the modifiers panel add modifier solidify and then we just give it a little bit of a thickness maybe something around about there we don't want to give it too much thickness yeah maybe something around about there once you're happy with the thickness go ahead and apply the solidify modifier and then uh, let's tap into edit mode and maybe add in a loop cut over here we move it closer to this edge same on this side gg and then move it closer to this edge and then go ahead and add in a subdivision surface modifier so that we get something that looks like that turn off the view and finally to make it look smooth go to object shade smooth and our spoon model is now complete so maybe one final thing instead of calling a sphere it's always good practice to name your 3d objects in the scene so i'm just going to call this one spoon and let's go ahead and save our work